Hey guys, welcome back to the 4x2 Wagon family. And today we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're here in our kitchen because I gotta stop with my projects out in the garage to fix the dishwasher. It's not spraying water throughout inside the dishwasher. You can hear something running, but there's no water spraying on the inside. So in this video, I wanna share with you some troubleshooting steps you guys can take to isolate what the issue is. So let's get started. So I'm gonna show you guys what's going on here. Uh, I'm gonna turn it on. We're on a one hour wash, okay? There we go, it's on one hour wash, uh, heat, dry, and I'm gonna push start. All right, so we're gonna close this up, and let's just see what happens. Oh, something is beeping. Okay. So you can see the lights right there, it's on. But there's nothing happening. There's, I mean, sometimes there's a little bit of noise, but sometimes there's nothing. Like right now, there's nothing going on. Okay, so by now, there should have been something happening. The, the water inlet pump should have opened up and allowed the water to circulate, but it's not happening. I mean, let me close this up one more time. Okay, you can see the lights are on again, and there's just nothing happening. Okay, so there's a couple things that could be causing this issue. Uh, one, the sprayer itself could be clogged up, and that's not uncommon. So uh, be before we start tearing things apart, I wanna cycle the dishwasher and make sure the sprayer works, make sure uh, the water drains out, make sure the pump is actually circulating the water throughout the dishwasher. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a bowl, a big bowl, and fill it up with water. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and close up the dishwasher and turn it on to just normal wash. And we're gonna do start. Okay, push it twice for my dishwasher, close it up. Oh, it's beeping, start. Okay, there we go, we got some action going on. Okay, you guys hear that? So there's once there's water inside your, your dishwasher, it's gonna start pumping. It's gonna sense there's water in there. Okay, okay, so there you go. We can rule out that it's a clogged, um, clogged sprayer issue, okay? So then let's go ahead and drain the water out of here and let's see if that works. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and cancel this and put it on drain, okay? And we should see water coming. There it is. Okay, so that's good news. The drain works and the sprayer works. So next thing we gotta do is go underneath the dishwasher and see what's going on. The inlet valve could be worn out, so let's take a look. All right, so the next step here is to turn the water off, which is tied to a valve under your sink. So turn that valve all the way to the right and step two, make sure you guys go out to your outside panel or inside your garage, wherever it's located, and turn off the circuit breaker to your dishwasher because we're going to be touching a little bit of electrical down below and we don't want you guys to be, you know, getting stuff electrocuted. All right. There's a panel down here. In my case, just a little plastic clip like this. And there's one on each side, but my left side is missing and this plastic cover should just come right off. Um, now, this is going to be obviously differ from dishwasher to dishwasher. And if you're working with a KitchenAid, it's gonna be basically the, these steps. Okay, so the water inlet valve is right here. Follow, you can see this 90 degree copper angle. Uh, looks like a hose fitting right there coming into this blue valve. And this is where your water inlet switch is located. And this is what I think is bad. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this off and get a part number on this. Uh, but before you do that, you, uh, you wanna make sure you get a towel or something like that 
and a little crescent wrench to knock off this, um, this line that's coming in from under your sink. Yeah, just a tiny bit, actually hardly any water came out of there, that's nice. Okay, then you can take a Phillips screwdriver and and it's located just 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 one right here. Not a Phillips, I'm sorry, a flat screwdriver. It's located right here. Let me get a little closer in the camera. Hopefully you guys can let me zoom. It's right here. And just one screw that's holding this baby together. Okay, and leave that right there. And this should just slide right out. So push it forward towards the back of the dishwasher. There you go. Okay, so with this clip here, I um, hope you guys can see this. There's a little, looks like a little mouth, I don't know, a little, I don't recall it, a little tab. There's most of the time you push the tab down to pull it out. But in this case, there's a little tab that you gotta pull up. You gotta pull up, and then it comes out. Just like that, okay? And I'll show you guys that a little bit more once I pull the whole thing out and grab a pair of pliers. Okay, or a channel locks, whatever you guys have. There's a hose clamp back here that, cl that clips to the water inlet valve. <sighs> Come on, there we go. Move that hose clamp clip back, and this thing, plastic thing, just pushes right out. Oh, whoa, look at that water. There we go, there's all that water. So let me show you guys that little clip. And focus. So this little clip right here, this is the, the tab you wanna pull up, and then the, the little connection comes right out. Okay, so here it is. Okay, so, so now that we have this part out, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this part number, which is on the back of this, whoa, a little water coming out, on the back of the device. Oops. Okay, so on the back of the little motor, there's a part number. We're gonna give the, the appliance parts guy a call and see if they got this in stock and we'll go down and pick it up, so we'll be right back. Okay, so we are back from the parts store. Uh, this part right here cost me um, 60 bucks with, with tax, and this is part number W1032724 and again, this is for a um, KitchenAid dishwasher, and let me go and open up this new part here, and just kind of make sure everything looks identical or the same. Everything looks like it's angled correctly. The let's go fitting looks a little bit different, but the prongs looks the same. So this right here is the original motor that was on dishwasher W1031814. So when I talked to the parts guys, they said that this is an old part number, okay? But they were able to cross reference and now this is the new part number, which is what I just showed you guys just a little bit ago here in the package. But initially when, I, when we looked at this, the motor on the new part is much smaller than, than the old one. So that's interesting. So everything looks okay. Everything should fit right in there without any problems. You will have to take off this hose fitting and Put it on your new one. Okay, and we'll do some final adjustments once we get down below. Uh, looking at this, the old part right here, everything looks pretty good. Um, I don't see anything really clogged in the screen. You know, it looks pretty good, but but again, these are wearable parts. These are motor, little electric motors, and they do go out, unfortunately. Okay, so for, oh, one thing I want to know here, I did a quick little research on, on Amazon, 
And um, you can buy this part on Amazon for $32. So I'll leave a link down below for that. So what we're gonna do is take off most of these old vinyl tape on this brass elbow, this fitting, and put some new one on. So I'm using this gray tape versus the white tape. Uh, the gray ones are just a little bit, a little bit thicker. And this is what I've been using for all of my plumbing projects. And what you wanna do is apply this clockwise. Okay, and then pull it nice and snug as you're wrapping it around. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and basically um, reverse the whole process. We're gonna plug in the plastic hose fitting. There we go. And then take your pliers or channel locks, whatever you have, and squeeze it and then get it over the fitting. Let's go ahead and connect the electrical plug. And then the last thing is getting the hose from under the sink line, thread it onto the inlet copper valve. All right, so rather than using a crescent wrench, a 16 millimeter fits on that nut, the, the inlet um, valve nut perfectly. So that's what I recommend is using that 16 millimeter nut opposed to a crescent wrench, all right? So everything looks really good. Electrical is, is on there nice and good. And we're ready to install this back onto the, the dishwasher bracket. There we go. So just like that, and we'll put that screw in. Okay, that looks good, you guys. Now. All right, let me go turn the power on and turn the water back on. Okay, so we got the water back on. Make sure there's no leaks under here. And there is not at the moment. The power is back on. Okay, let's go ahead and push start. On our wall, let's just do a quick wash here. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. Did you guys hear that? Okay, we're gonna wait just a few minutes here, make sure uh, we hear the water splashing around. But I definitely hear the water kicking on. And there you go. Alright guys, so that's all there's to it. Alright guys, I hope this video was helpful. And if you guys have any questions or comments, you guys know what to do down below. And I will also leave that link to this part that I found on Amazon for half the price for $32. So I'll leave that link down below for you guys. You can check that out. This was a pretty easy project on a scale of 1 to 10. I would say this is about a 2. Uh, the whole job took no more than 15 minutes. It took me longer to go down and get the part than actually, you know, fixing this part itself. You guys be safe out there in the COVID world and God bless.